G'day guys, I'm out again tonight chasing local foxes. I'm just on a small 100 acre parcel of land that I've been invited out to. They've lost all their chickens, every single one of them, to a fox or foxes. So, let's go and see how we go. Weapon of choice tonight, considering I'm on a smaller block and I'm just targeting foxes, is my 17 HMR. This is a Lithgow LA101, has a PARD NV008 LRF digital night vision rifle scope on it, and I'm running an external IR light source, which is a Sirius XLT. Straight up, I've got a fox out in this paddock beneath me, so I'm up on a bit of a grass mound. I've got a bit of an elevated position to increase the shooting safety with the angle. Uh, there's a fair few houses around here, so I'm going to run the new jackrabbit sound. It should be pretty good out here. There's a fair bit of loosen and turf and things like that, so normally that brings the foxes in. Let's see how we go. That's a fair lump of a dog fox. He's got a really long tail. I've got two foxes out here in this paddock, about 200 metres away now. I've given my little lip squeak a bit of a run, and one of the foxes has just taken off, so I'd say that's a good sign. It's been missed in the past. Uh, the other one's still just milling around, so we'll run the new jackrabbit call again on this one. We'll see if it comes in. That, boys and girls, is why you brush your teeth morning and night. So uh, this fox has got a heap of age on him. The property owner is going to be stoked to see this guy gone. Just walking up this farm track, and I've gone over a culvert. I went probably 30 metres up this little bit of a road, and I've looked back around behind me, and in my red headlight, which only goes about look 10 metres if it's lucky, I've picked up eye shine. Now I've thrown the scanner up. Sure enough, it's a fox. It's uh, circled round tried to get wind of me. Uh, it's probably the stupidest fox that I've come across in quite a long time, but nonetheless, job done. Nearly back at the car, I've just glanced out across this paddock on my left. There's a fox sitting out there just watching me walk up the road. Again, like the last one that came out of the culvert, I've got no idea where this animal came from, but I don't really care. Another really big dog fox. No wonder this bloke's losing chickens. These things would make short work of those. So I've got a fox up here. It's probably about three or 400 metres out in the paddock. So plan is we're going to walk in a little bit closer, have a go on the whistle, see if he can come in to a better range. This guy came in pretty close. Uh, I get asked a fair bit what fox calls do I use, and the answer to that is I mix it up a fair bit. So I've got my Icotec with me tonight. I've dropped that pack though about 150 metres back up the road and walked in a little bit closer to this guy, and I've ended up pulling him in with a little uh, T2 by fox calls. So um, these are a dual purpose call. It's like a Tenfield style, it's probably terrible footage, uh, with a little trumpet thing on one side. So that was just with the main. Tenerfield side of the whistle. Uh, they're pretty smart, these animals. This guy was on the other side of a creek. Now, I thought he'd come straight towards me when I blew the whistle. And no, he went right along the creek, crossed over a little bridge, and then came all the way back towards me. So, um, certainly not a stupid animal anyway. I'll leave the tripod there for context. I've just had this super thick ground fog roll in. 
even in the thermal I can't see more than probably about 75 metres. Bit of a shame tonight, I've been fogged out, it's only about 9pm still, not a bad effort, the property owner is very happy, uh, I think he was a little bit surprised with how many foxes I've seen out here, there's certainly more, I'll be back again, if you did like the video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, have a look at my Patreon and I'll see everyone next time.